Okay, just showing hey everybody. I'm just showing everybody the uh, latest thing I've done on top of my uh, rock hard 4x4 you know tank plate armor. I talked to uh, James from rock hard 4x4 and Chad and they said they couldn't help me but this is a Dana 44A and there is a distinction. Dana 44A A stands for aluminum. I guess they made these for Dodge Vipers and I think they started in like 1996. I don't even know when they ended but this is in 1998 and it needed something because it was getting scrape marks at the bottom. Um, so I looked long and hard and I guess I found uh, Mountain Vista. They, uh, they still make stuff for the Dana 44A and they you know I researched them uh, it took me a long time because I, I was wanting one of the normal companies well more more known companies like JCR or Rock Hard 4x4 Rusty um, Rough Country Rough Stuff Rancho everybody you know I I went to the uh, Fairplex Pomona Off-Road Expo just a couple weeks ago in October or September 29th and no one had it. No one, a bunch of people didn't even have it, hadn't even heard of it. And luckily, Chad had heard of it, and um, he, you know, they put me on the right path to, to finding it. Anyway, I found it from Mountain Vista. Um, they sent it to me right away. It was plain metal. I could have requested uh, the uh, powder coated, but I, I wanted something to to kind of contrast from underneath everything underneath is like black they, they, they they're gonna send the send you something black and I was thinking paint it orange but when I looked at my rattle can inventory the oldest one the oldest can I had and the only thing that would contrast was white so it was a high temperature white so I, I just used that up well, actually before that I put some uh, primer on it and then I used the remainder of it and I put a little little pumpkin sticker on there so my wife uh, last year she, she wanted me to put a sticker on there but you couldn't you wouldn't be able to see it so I still had the uh, sticker that she gave me so anyway uh, I ended up putting it on the on the new uh, differential armor I just wanted to show what it looks like when it's installed and because it's white it's easy to to see right here at this point um, that uh, that one bolt. Where the heck is it? Right in there, up there. You have to loosen that up, and this whole brake module lifts up, and then you slide in that hanger. And you can't get them wrong. Well, you could accidentally put it over here, but you'll have to take it off because you won't be able to use the one on the right to the one on the left. So the one on the right is the fat one, and then the one on the left has the notch cut out. And then another little difficulty I had was over here when I first started. I put put the uh, armor on the on the forward side, this this hanger armor. So be sure to put that on the aft side. And then once you uh, tighten it up, you'll see it barely has a lip that it hangs on. So and then of course here's my Adams drive shaft. Uh, this uh, will protect the you join here a little bit so it, it gives protection for an aluminum pumpkin 